hi to the bear. Hi, bear. Having a bear in your front yard is not exactly what a mother wants to see. Seasonally, actually, the bear uh, generally comes in off the Ship Creek Road area. We do live in a valley. This is a prime area for wildlife, including black bears. Uh, so residents should be aware that we do live in an area where you do need to have diligence um, in maintaining those attractants. Uh, otherwise, you will have bears and possibly other wildlife uh, in your yard. And since the city of Port Alberni recognized its abundance of bears years ago, they are now deep in the process of becoming a bear smart community. From some of the houses that we visited recently in our door-to-door -door campaign with the Vancouver Island University students, uh, we found that, you know, in high conflict areas, uh, some people were very diligent about keeping their attractants in and other people, you know, uh, didn't seem to think that there were any bears in the area. So it was a very diverse uh, response, but certainly we're finding that, you know, when more people start keeping their attractants in, then, you know, they start talking to their neighbours and then we're using that word of mouth to you know, get everybody in the neighborhood involved. And the study that these Vancouver Island University students did has helped in understanding bear patterns in the valley. We identified areas that were uh, potentially higher human bear conflict areas. It was really interesting to see some of the data. Uh, for example, the Sprout Lake District seems to be a higher uh, bear incident area. And uh, what was also quite revealing was how many times garbage attractants was the root cause of that. So I don't think uh, we can emphasize enough how important it is to keep bear um, garbage attractants um, away from bears. People actually are incredibly aware here. Like the majority of the population, you know, they, they know their bear facts. And that's really, really nice to see, especially in a town, you know, that does have so much green space and so many areas for the bears to actually come into town, right? There's an awful lot of um, interactions, human bear interactions out here. So yeah, it's nice to see people getting really involved. But the next step in becoming a bear smart community involves even more compliance from Port Alberni residents. We want Port Alberni to be a, a bear smart community and everybody needs to work together to ensure that. So last year we had uh, several reports of bears accessing um, non-natural food sources, accessing um, uh, the totes, the city totes. Um, the lids weren't closed, the garbage was overflowing, and the wildlife resistant hardware, if it was attached, wasn't locked. And so um, I personally was making patrols in the residential areas and, and determining that bears were accessing these garbage totes. And we want to ensure this year that, you know, the warnings aren't going to be warnings anymore. People do know what they need to do. And uh, if, if we're not seeing compliance, um, we will be issuing fines. If you happen to have a bear sighting, make sure to report it to the Conservation Hotline. And for more Bear Smart information, visit the Bear Smart BC website. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.